Want to know one of the best things that you can do to keep your baby safe and to save a bunch of moolah in the process? Stay tuned. Welcome to Gen B TV. Today is all about how to get green clean for your baby. Now let me just put it out there up front. People know me as a bit of a clean freak, so I would never recommend anything that didn't work. And also, because I'm a busy person, I would never recommend you spending your precious time mixing up a whole bunch of stuff that you're not happy with. The things I'm gonna tell you about are guaranteed to work and they cost way less. But the most important thing is they're much better for you and they're certainly much better for your developing kidlet system. Just a little bit more about the health issue. You see, little ones are especially vulnerable because they've got developing systems. They're smaller, so pound for pound, they take in more of the toxic load, definitely leading to asthma, allergies, and even cancer. You see, the Environmental Protection Agency has determined that infants up to age two are on average 10 times more vulnerable to carcinogenic chemicals than adults. And before the age of two, babies have accumulated about 50% of their lifetime cancer risk. So you can now see pretty clearly why it's so important that your house is cleaned with non-toxic, safe cleaning supplies, especially because when your little one starts to crawl, you know that the hands, the feet, and anything that it can bring to his mouth will be there. Now I'm gonna let you in on a dirty little secret of the cleaning supply industry. You see, no one regulates what they put on the product. So they could say eco-friendly, they could even say all natural, and you're never gonna know if it truly is. That's why I definitely recommend making your own. Not to mention, you're gonna save about $500 a year by doing it this way. Touching. Now, I've heard from a few of you that you're worried about bacteria in your home. Totally get it, but you need to know a few things. One, it's not bacteria that causes colds and flus. That's from a virus. And number two, triclosan is the thing that's used in all the antibacterial products and it's incredibly dangerous. In fact, Johnson & Johnson is gonna be phasing it out out of all of their cleaning products for that reason. Also, a big problem with antibacterial products is it's actually breeding superbugs. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, they're not larger, but they are stronger germs. And actually, my beloved white distilled vinegar here can kill germs and bacteria due to the high level of acidity. I buy this by the gallon and I love all the inexpensive cleaning products that you can make from vinegar. This one being the most useful for cleaning countertops, kids' toys, etc. It also helps with mold and mildew. My plumber even told me that vinegar and baking soda can be more effective than Drano at clearing clogged drains. Oh, and before we move on, hand sanitizer. Most hand sanitizer definitely has the triclosan for being antibacterial. However, there are some that are alcohol-based, like this one by Truce, that is delicious and smells like peppermint. Mmm. <laughs> now, beyond the recipes on my site for making your own from scratch, I have to say these are amazing alternatives or in addition to your cleaning kit. A cool new product that I've been loving is this one by Branch Basics. It's plant enzymes, coconut oil, and a lot of food grade ingredients. Because it's concentrated, number one, you're not paying for all of that water and all of the bottles to be shipped around. Cha-ching, you're gonna save money. Number two is you get to actually mix up a bunch of different products just really depending on your need. Like this one is streak free and this one is all purpose. Now I have to say, what I've really been loving about this is if you spray the all-purpose onto stains on your clothing to pre-treat them, it actually removes oil stains. I feel like I've been looking all my life for something that removes oil stains. Maybe because I'm always eating greasy food. <laughs> Another one of these concentrate ideas is a product by EO. Now I use this one when I'm really into the scent of things. This lavender smells great, and just like Branch, it seems to have about a hundred different uses, just depending on the concentration in which you mix it. Laundry, hand washing, countertops, you get the idea. Last but not least, even though this isn't necessarily a cleaning supply, air freshener is an important one because most of them on the market just spray a whole bunch of chemicals and perfumes into the air, covering it up, making all those things go down into your lungs. This is good, eco me. Doesn't have any of the toxic chemicals and smells like vanilla. Hmm. If you're curious about some of the products that you already have in your house, go to ewg.org and search their cleaning database. 
They'll rank them and tell you what's up, what different chemicals that might be in them that are dangerous, or give them the green light. I'm gonna leave you with two last eco points that are also gonna be good on your budget. Number one, you can use some old rags, even toothbrushes, for your cleaning supplies instead of those disposable things. And number two, take your shoes off at the door. That's gonna track in a whole lot less pesticides and kind of gross stuff from outside. You'll have to clean less too, bonus. So you can see, it's pretty simple to either make your own or get some of these concentrates and really get your whole house clean and save a lot of money. But the best thing is, you're gonna keep yourself and baby super safe. Know anybody else that might be interested in green cleaning? Well, sharing is caring, so definitely make sure to share this episode with them. And through you and spreading the good word, we can definitely change the world. Until next time, rock on with your light green self. Now, last but not least, this deserves a definite mention even though it's not necessarily a cleaning support ply. Beyond these recipes found on my site, I do say I quote unquote cheat. I do say, am I like England? I do say. <laughs>